All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. Joe Montana comparing Brock Purdy to himself on the Pat McAfee Show. We'll talk about that coming up next. We'll hear a little bit from Joe. But first, we're brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Check the link in the description. Use the promo code KRUG. K-R-U-E-G, and they will match you up to your first $100. Well, interesting little Pat McAfee show with the great Joe Montana, number 16, stopping by. And um, let's hear from Joe. This is interesting. I mean, Joe is, is you know, not out there a lot, doesn't talk a lot. Um, you know, he's not one of these guys that hangs around the facility and and, you know, looks for media people to talk to. He's very private. He doesn't talk a lot. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of interviews, but he went on the Pat McAfee show. And of course the conversation turned to Brock Purdy and, and Pat says, you know, um, you know, Joe, a lot of people have been comparing this kid to you. What do you see when you see Brock Purdy? And here's Montana with, with uh, McAfee talking about Brock. And then we'll talk about it coming up next. When you look at this Niners quarterback now and this Brock Purdy guy, I assume you've gotten a chance to interact with him and meet him, and I assume he, just like everybody else who's in the NFL and has ever been around football, is like starstruck by you. But what do you see from this Brock Purdy guy about why he's had success at such a young age, especially for a 49ers team that obviously has a massive following and has been yearning for something like this, maybe since you were there, Joe? Yeah, I, I think the thing I see – is something that I think I figured out early on in my career was that what the offense is about, right? It wasn't about me. It was about getting the ball to the people who knew what to do with it because all I, I, I'm the mailman. I'm a, this doesn't belong to me. I want to get it to somebody that knows how to run, knows how to catch. And we had, especially late in my career, when you get guys like Jerry Rice, John Taylor, Brent Jones, Roger Craig, um, on down the line, all you got to do is get the ball to him. And and I think if you look at the weapons that Rock's working with, he's figured that offense out. He understands what his position is. He doesn't try to make a big play. He knows when that chance will come and when he needs to do it. But in most cases, it's okay to punt. I got a pretty good defense, too. And that's when we had the same thing, right? That defense is pretty good. So, Yep, they're going to have to earn their money, too, at the same time. And, yeah, we're going to punt. And hopefully we don't punt too many times. But, you know, the defense, you got to, hey, you're up. Let's go. And um, I think that's probably the biggest thing that I've seen of him is, you know, real because he understands it, he's calm in there. He has a great presence. And, you know, he's not trying to knock you out with a football. You know, he delivers a great catchable ball. I mean, you talk to these guys, and and they'll tell you, you know, the ball, you know, very rare does it come in there harder than it's supposed to. And so, yeah, he puts in a keyhole too, mm -hmm. Joe. It seems like his accuracy yeah. is just phenomenal. He's able to put it and find the spots. All right, there's Joe Montana talking about Brock Purdy, and you know, it's interesting. I mean, you know, just to review what he said there, you know, he says, "I see a player who sees kind of what I saw that." Um, you know, I, you know, Joe said, Hey, I learned really early on what this offense is about. You know, it's like the quarterback in the, in this kind of a West coast offense with a short passing game is kind of like a point guard. You know, you're a distributor. Joe called it being the mailman. I have a piece of mail. It doesn't belong to me. I've got to deliver it to somebody else on time with accuracy. And Joe had, at the end there, some incredible weapons, right? And maybe the greatest collection of weapons of all time. Jerry Rice, John Taylor, Brent Jones, Roger Craig, Tom Rathman. Um, Joe had a lot of great weapons. And all in his mind, all he had to do was get them the ball. But he makes it sound so much easier. It's about identifying who needs to get it and can you get it to them on time with accuracy. Um, and he said, you know, Brock doesn't try, doesn't, doesn't try to make the big play though. He does take shots down the field and he is aggressive. You know, he's like, Brock doesn't take the big play. He says, take care of the, I mean, basically outline the, the game plan for Brock Purdy, which is take care of the football, spread it around to your bevy of awesome weapons, be patient, 
get, you know, get your offense into the right look and out of bad looks at the line of scrimmage. So know how to process at the line of scrimmage. Know whether you know where your protection is, know where your pressure is coming from, um, and and have it delineated out in your mind. You know, this is my first option. This is my second option. This is my third option. Sometimes there might only be one option, and, and you're going to be, you know, have to get the ball out fast because there's you're going to face an all-out blitz. But it's basically about taking care of the ball, spreading it around to your weapons, being patient, and lean on your defense. Joe said it. You know, hey, be willing to punt. Hopefully you don't get a punt a lot. And he mentioned that, you know, in his mind from watching Brock, that Brock's figured this offense out. And because he's figured it out and because it's meant he mentally, he's got his arms all the way around the offense. Joe said, Hey, look, because he knows this offense so well, he's calm in there. You know, he's calm in the pocket. He's not fidgety. He's not nervous. Uh, he's got total, he's got a presence. Joe even said it. Brock's got a great presence about him. He's calm in the pocket. Um, he does a lot of preparation and thus it's like, you know, how do you feel when you're taking a test that you're thoroughly prepared for? You feel great. You're like, Hey, bring it on. I'm ready. I know the material, bring it on. And that's Brock Purdy every week. He knows the material. He he's, he's taking a test that he studied hard for and that he knows the answers to. And so because his preparation is so detailed and so thorough, He's calm under pressure, and he's the best quarterback in the NFL this year when you pressure him, when you blitz him or pressure him. Number one quarterback rating in the NFL. Why is that? Because he has done the mental reps. He understands if I get pressure off the right side, I'm going here, here, or here. If I get pressure off the left side, I'm going here, here, or here. If I get pressure up in the A gaps, this is my plan. He's calm in the pocket because he knows that he's got a plan to to take whatever the defense gives him. Uh, and he plays with a great presence, and he throws. I, I think maybe the underrated part of what Joe said about Brock is, you know, he doesn't, the ball doesn't come out too hard. You know, it's funny. They always say, well, is the, the you know, the, the ball speed was this. Okay. But the hardest, ball, you don't get, you don't get uh, credit for throwing the hardest ball. You get credit when your receiver catches it. So you want to throw a catchable football. And that's another strength of Brock Purdy. He throws a very catchable football. The ball comes out accurate, accurately, generally, um, and on time. So if you're accurate, you're on time, and you process what you see, you got a great bevy of weapons, and you'll spread the ball around, and you're patient, and you're willing to lean on your defense and from time to time punt, um, you're hard to beat. And so Brock's got... Christian McCaffrey to hand it to and sometimes he's got Debo either to hand it to or to throw it to right he's got Ayuk to throw it to great receiver all pro receiver he's got George Kittle to throw it to he's got a great rapport with the tight end and you know Kittle is one of the best in the league he's got an incredible you saw that incredible catch on the sideline from Kyle Huszczyk I mean Juice is another dependable receiver and then there's JJ Jawan Jennings who will absolutely go get it for you. You know, you throw it up, he will go after it. Uh, so he makes a quarterback look good. Why? Because he's got a big catch radius. So it was interesting listening to Joe kind of go through the whole breakdown of, of Brock. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's easy to see what he sees. You know, he sees, it's almost like looking in the mirror. You know, he sees a distributor who's got great weapons who's not trying not trying to overdo it or overthink it, um, who's lately been taking care of the football, spreading it around to his weapons, being patient, leaning on his defense. Um, you know, he's calm because he's mentally gone through all the reps. He's got great presence. He's, he's a competitive son of a gun, and he throws a very catchable football, and the ball comes out with accuracy and on time, and he can spread it around to any of, you know, six really, really good weapons. Who's got six better weapons in football right now than the Niners? CMC, Debo, Ayuk, Kittle, Juice, and JJ? That's six really good weapons. So interesting to hear Joe Montana. And when anytime you hear Joe Montana 
talk football, you feel better, more, more informed for having listened to it. But I also feel better about Brock just seeing it the way Joe sees it, that he sees a little bit of himself and Brock and to all Niner fans, uh, especially those who, who understood the greatness of Montana and saw it firsthand. Um, it's a little reassuring. <laughs> it's a little reassuring that Joe sees a lot of himself in young Brock Purdy, who will try to win the Super Bowl at age 24 on February the 11th against the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. All right, that does it for us. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the of the uh, Krug Show. Thanks to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring this video. Thanks to all you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube. 